my fellow Biafrans, all hail Biafra, all hail Biafra. A few months ago, uh, your leader was uh, kidnapped and renditioned to, to Nigeria, where he has remained detaining communicado for the past months. I have never really spoken directly on this issue and I have never addressed you on this issue. I sent a letter to the Directorate, the HOD, a few days ago um, informing them of my desire to address Biafrans across the globe on a couple of issues. The kidnapping and rendition of your leader, the alliance between Amazonia and Biafra, the international implications of this alliance, the kidnapping of Mazin Namdi Kanu, and to assure you that you are not alone in your strife for the actualization of Biafra and to assure you once more that the betrayers of the past will never again be repeated. My fellow Biafrans, the present concept of statehood within the continent of Africa is anchored on a flawed foundation. That is why the effort of our forebears in bringing the continent together on the concept of Pan-Africanism has not worked because the fundamentals of the concept of statehood is anchored in colonialism, administrative conveniences, and economic spoilation. Africa has gone through several tragedies and the children of Africa are scattered across the globe in search of a homeland, in search of an identity, in search of happiness. The continent hijacked hundreds of years ago, splintered and shared amongst colonialists who have implanted as overseers and managers of these plantations tyrants and butchers who laid waste to our coast, looted our resources, built a large army that they have used to continue to perpetuate a new colonial doctrine that favors the West and these tyrants. The leader was kidnapped through an illicit intercourse between Nairobi and Abuja. The leader of the largest indigenous group in the continent of Africa. It is a shame that in the 21st century, a people like Biafrans, who have been subjected to economic deprivation, political asphyxiation, social exclusion, will still be treated with contempt and disdain. Let me remind Nigeria that you didn't win the war. You won the battle of 1967. You've never won the war. And the reason for Nigeria's arrogance is reflected in the fact that despite a genocide committed on you, millions of Biafrans butchered, Nigeria has never apologized. There has never been accountability. Nigeria has continued with a vindictive 
a perception as though Biafra was conquered and its leaders are still pushing out utterances, sore wounds of a people who suffered a lot of injustices in the land of their birth. All hail Biafra. Before there was Nigeria, there was Biafra. I am not addressing you as your leader. I am addressing you as a friend, as a Pan-Africanist, as someone who believes in justice, as someone who believes in the true union of peoples within the continent to safeguard their economic interests, to establish over their nations political systems that work for their interests, that are a reflection of their particularities, not an strange political system that serves the interests of foreign dominions, masterminded by tyrants who regularly organize political charade call elections to legitimize tyranny. My fellow Biafrans, we Ambazonians are a people who have suffered injustice for so long and we understand the pain. We understand the pain of tyranny, the curtailment of rights, the deprivation, the asphyxiation, the exclusion. And that's why we stand with you. And like our forebears did in their struggle against colonialism, we believe, as a people who have suffered tribulations, we should never utter words or take actions that betray other people. That is why I led Ambazonia into an alliance with Biafra. Because you are a permanent neighbor. We were once governed as part of Inigo. And we walk out of there peacefully to establish our own system of ruling our own capital. We share a common border, a common heritage. We form one of the strongest blocks in the continent of Africa, in the Gulf of Guinea. We are a reflection of the future, future of prosperity, anchored in justice equitable distribution of world. The exploitation of natural resources for replication and development. And where the owners of those resources not have a say in the way they are managed. We are a more than 70 million strong economy. With one of the most educated economic workforce ingenious in terms of entrepreneurial spirit. That's why they are scared of us. That's why they've imposed tyrants to ensure that our day of sunshine never comes. About five years ago, Cameroon declared war on Amazonia. It used Nigeria as a proxy state to arrest Amazonians within Biafra and within Nigeria, illegally rendition them to Cameroon, where they were detained in communicado, tried in kangaroo tribunals, and jailed for life. So when I speak about the kidnapping of your own leader, it's based on the experiences that we have faced. An experience that gives me a better platform to speak about this. You've been left like a flock without a shepherd. But I remind you that they've taken away your leader, but they've not taken away the vision. The ideology upon which his leadership was anchored. Nigeria has a choice. Mr. Buhari has a choice. It is a choice Mr. Bia rejected. 
release Mazi Namdi Kanu, engage in meaningful discussion on the aspirations of the Biafran people, or lay Nigeria waste. Nigeria's survival depends on the freedom of Biafra, not the other way around. As I said, Nigeria won the Battle of 1967. It didn't win the war. The war has been going on since then. Only one side has been armed, acted with impunity, and with a sense of callousness, as though Biafrans were captured and conquered people. You owe Nigeria nothing. Nigeria owes you its future, its economic stability, its political future. And you, Biafrans, must be treated with respect. Ambazonia will continue to support you, to encourage you. Whatever you decide about the outcome of your struggle, the method you want to use, is a choice only Biafrans can make. Whatever choices you make, you can count on the support of my leadership. You can count on the solidarity of the Ambazonian people. That for us Ambazonians, we want a stable neighbor, one that respects human rights, one whose political institution is a reflection of the particularities of its own people, its heritage, and its future. You can be rest assured that the freedom of Ambazonia will be meaningless without the freedom of Biafra and all other peoples whose destiny have been held hostage by this illicit intercourse between modern day enslavement manifested in the tyranny of tyrants imposed over our own nations. We will never forgive. We will not build peace and reconciliation commission. There will be truth and accountability. All those who have looted our resources, laid bare our territories, murdered our people, committed genocide on us, you will be held accountable through time and space. Only then, when we can hold people accountable, shall we in the future stop impunity? Shall we hold leaders accountable for their acts when they were in power and out of power? All those who've enabled colonialism through the legitimization of tyranny and puppets over our countries, will be held accountable. I continue to encourage you in your strives to be free, in your daily struggles, in the strategies you employ. And you must be reminded, all those who have died have not died in vain. All those who, have been, who are in jail have not lost their liberty in vain. Never give up. Be reminded that our boat lands are flowing with the blood of patriots who have been murdered by those who took us captives. And on a daily basis, as we continue to struggle to ensure that our people are free, that our destinies and future are secured and anchored in justice, we must be reminded of other struggles, the sacrifices made by peoples. We are now scattered across the globe, living under democracies where we have the right to speak and sometimes be listened to. For all of those who are out of Biafra, you must continue to add your voices to ensure that your leader is released and that the dreams of the Biafran people is realized. I've not come here to make you feel it's gonna be easy. 
tyranny is, is entrenched. Brutality, murder, systematic torture, crimes against humanity, and even genocide are the best options for tyranny. You will face dark days. More leaders will be killed. Villages will be burned as they have been burnt in Amazonia. You might lose another generation. But the dreams of the Biafran people, as manifested today in the enthusiasm which this generation has injected in the struggle, will be realized. It's in your hands to make it happen. It's in your hands to make it fail. As for us, Ambazonia, we are already free. We have defeated Cameroon because we made a conscious decision that because occupation is predicated on economic exploitation, we were going to stop the occupier from exploiting our resources. We made a determination also that because occupation is predicated on political legitimacy, we make sure that we delegitimize the occupier in our homeland. We also realize that political stability is critical for the survival of the occupier. We made our land ungovernable. All of these strategies has crumbled Cameroon's politics within Amazonia, has elevated Amazonia from a domestic to an international issue. And we know that the dawn of a new day for Amazonia is just around the corner. As we continue to struggle for our own freedom, the alliance which myself and Mazi Namdi Kanu established for both peoples and both nations is going to be strengthened to ensure that after we are free, we establish a free economic zone where both peoples can tap in both their human and natural resources to have a better life and a better future. My fellow Biafrans, Nigeria did not act alone. Kenya facilitated the kidnapping and rendition of your leader. The same crime they committed in the kidnapping and rendition of the Kurdish leader, Mr. Ochala. We must know that Cameroon continues to work with Nigeria to perpetrate crimes against Amazonians. These alliances are critical for tyranny. They have implications on the outcomes which we seek for our people. That is why all Biafrans and, and Amazonians must understand that the alliance between Biafra and Ambazonia is critical to ensure our both survivors. We will not defeat these tyrannies alone. We must work together like a people suffocated, like a people whose existence is threatened. We must stand together in all aspects. And I'm grateful and thankful that Biafrans in their hundreds join Ambazonians across the globe in the celebration of our 60th year of independence. We will continue also to replicate with the same kindness to ensure that you are free. On a daily basis, as you struggle, for the freedom of your leader, you can count on me. You can count on my added voice. You can count on my own leadership. I wish you strength. I wish your own leadership, strength, foresight, and wisdom as they lead you to the dreams which you've set for yourself, for the generation yet unborn. You must know you are a free people. It is up to you to rise up and defend that freedom. 
or raise your hand in surrender and allow the enemy to continue to lay waste to your territory. All hail Biafra. God bless you.